Welcome to the MNF Podcast. I'm Fergie. I am Mikey. And today we are going to be doing a cigar review of Arturo Fuentes' Rare Pink. Yes, sir. Work of art. This was actually uh, in the comment section of our last video. We, we always say in our videos, if you want us to try a cigar to review, just let us know. Give us a name. And someone who also follows our Discord as well as the YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, his Discord name is Memu. I don't know. Memu? I feel I bad. I always think Memo, but like, yeah, it's not. I think it's Memu or, or me something like that. Anyways, pretty cool guy. I talked to him extensively. And he suggested the uh, Arturo Fuente Rare Pink. Yeah. I like the band. The band's nice. Um, I'm hoping the camera's focusing in on it. It's probably not. Um, let me let me get super close and reach over the table. Like, Come on, you can focus. Do it. It's probably not, but... It's okay. We get 50-50 chance it worked and yeah. it worked. 50, 50 chance. 50 cents. 50 cents. Yeah. 50 cents. 50 cents. So we're going to give it a try. It's got an Ecuadorian wrapper, Nicaraguan binder with a Nicaraguan slash Dominican Republic filler. And actually the cool thing about this cigar that I didn't know is the Ecuadorian wrapper is actually from Oliva's Family Farm. Really? Which Oliva's are one of my more favorite smokes to have. And I don't know. I guess... Let's and, give it a uh, cut and light. It's also in a Figurado style, yeah, it's, which is really nice because it's hard to fuck up the light. My first Figurado, I think. I'm not sure, but let's get a cut and light on it. Oh, and one more thing while he's cutting that. Uh, the Rare Pink series is actually uh, something that, that they made to help support breast cancer. So like $13 from every box, which isn't much since the box is like 200 bucks. Uh, $13 from every box goes to... Uh, Breast Cancer Awareness and, you know, the Breast Cancer Foundation. I'm not exactly sure what the foundation is called, but it goes do it. I think it's just the American Breast Cancer Association. Something like that. Oh, you fucker. You cracked it. All right, that's losing a point. That was you. That was not me. Oh, man, the draw on this is hard. Yeah, very hard draw. And it's got a uh, nice construction in terms of its firmness from what I have seen. Well, let's get a light going. See what's going on. Got to toast a little, it a little bit. Kind of nutty on the dry hay uh, inhale. Then we got to pull out the doors, Zippo. That's very peanutty. Really? Yep. I wouldn't know. I don't like nuts in my mouth. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're on culture. Oh, yeah, that's very nutty. Right off the first light. Very creamy right off the first right Mixed off the bat. Mixed with that too. too, yeah. It's like a creamy peanut. So while we're enjoying this stick for the first time, this so little... far that's good. Uh, but then again, right off the light, that's kind of hard to say what's going to be the rest of the way. Right, I mean, we still got an entire stick to smoke. Still got an entire two inches. You know what's been bothering me lately, Fergie? What? Thirst traps. Thirst traps? Thirst traps on Instagram. So what you're saying is we can't post them on the MNF podcast Instagram? No one wants to see a fat dude and a skinny dude with their tits out. No one wants to see it. I promise you that. I don't know what you're talking about. Have you seen my OnlyFans? <laughs> Talk about being sexist, bro. Girls can get views from showing their tits. Yeah, but and, I show and, mine. And, and, you know, having a thong up their ass. But if I do it, I get put on a sex offenders list. <laughs> I think it goes like that, but okay. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, it's true. You look at Instagram, and a lot of these women that are fitness influencers, don't. a lot of them don't even have a single bit of fitness info. No nutrition, no workout plans, no this, no that. Yet they've got thousands of views, sometimes even hundreds of thousands of viewers, all because they can show their boobs. 
Oh, I got boobs. I'm almost a scene. It's depressing. <laughs> We're working on that. We're working on that. We're going on it. We're going to have pecs here soon. <clears throat> a little update on our cut, I guess, too, while we're at it. Um, I don't know if you want to go first on yours. I haven't kept up with it at all. No? Okay. I mean, I've been eating healthy and I haven't gained any weight. Yeah. Um, but my workouts lately have been lacking severely. I've just been so busy. Yeah, I feel that. I've lost 12 pounds this year, so it's going strong. How do you feel about this so far? I'm kind of digging it so far. It's creamy, very smooth, very light. For a $24.99 stick, so far, it's I can get with it. But I'm having such a hard time with the draw. It's a tough draw. Mine is very tight. I'm trying to loosen it up a little bit. Mine's not bad. I can actually get adequate smoke through it. I think your uh, light is might be off. Yeah. Son of a bitch. What you get for using a soft flame? What? That's what you get for using a soft flame. Actually, soft flame helps to have more even burn. Hard flame is more concentrated. Fair point. Too shame you see how pussy get. <laughs> well, I guess we will start smoking the first third all the way through, and uh, we'll get back to you guys in the second third, which will probably be here pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you guys there. We are back. We are. And we're through the uh, first third. What are your thoughts on it so far, Fergie? I think it's a good cigar so far. Um, it's got like a nutty aftertaste in the back, um, followed by chocolate with cream. Um, it, it's really good. It's it's a taste I haven't really had, and I don't think I've had in a while that I've been chasing for a while too. It does have a very unique taste to it that I really can't put my eye, a hand on or eye on, whatever tongue on, whatever <laughs> it is, and. I don't know if it's a strong baker spice, but there's a spice in there, mm-hmm. and I don't know what it is. I Did you happen to read the notes at all beforehand? I couldn't find any notes on it whatsoever. What are we talking about? We, we aren't scripted. I don't know what it is, man, but it's it's a, it's a spice, obviously. It, it's It's got to be. I just... Let me try to get a good retro hill going. Oh, I think I just got it. Kind of like cinnamon. Almost, yeah. Like a pumpkin pie, I should say. Yeah, it's almost like a dessert. It's weird. It's really but weird. But it's, it's amazingly smooth. Mm-hmm. I... There's only right right at the beginning. I felt a little bit of like a, a like a a pepper, like a spice spiciness on my tongue, but that was maybe for one or two puffs, and it went away almost instantly. So. So yeah, you got anything else you want to add to it? No, I mean, this first third is pretty good. We're gonna keep smoking in the second. Let you guys know as we get to the third. Yeah. So we'll see you then. Yeah. Welcome back. We are now in the second, going under the third third, and. Uh, Mikey, what are your thoughts? I mean, it's staying pretty consistent in terms of flavor profile. In in my uh, agreement as well. I, I'm I'm still getting that spice. I can't quite put my finger on. Uh, it, it's it's creamy, uh, a little bit of a. Uh, I wouldn't really call. I wouldn't really say there's any like uh, natural wood taste. I, it's I almost say, like an earthy, like, it, I, it, it's got that taste there, but it's not wood. I would say it's more nutty than anything. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, creamy, really smooth still. The flavor profile has stayed pretty consistent into the second, third, and hasn't really changed much. I can agree. So. So, so far, a good smoke. I mean, it's lasted us, what, probably about 40 minutes right now? Yeah. I was, I was honestly surprised because it's a small-ass stick. It's like... Yeah, but it's I mean, so firm packed. Yeah, it is very, very firmly packed. So it's not surprising it's all on smoke. But mm-hmm. is it worth twenty four dollars? I don't know. I guess we'll see by the end. So I guess we'll see you guys in the see you then last third. Welcome back, guys, to the uh, 
Final third. Final third. Yeah, we're almost done with the cigar. Probably got maybe an inch left. And what do you think so far, Fergie? I think it was good up to the final third. Once I got to the final third, it kind of started to get plain, kind of um, teeter out, I should say. Starting to get really hot on the fingers. I mean, it very good cigar. Was it worth 25 bucks? I don't think I'll have it again. I mean, if it came down in price, maybe I would consider it. Yeah, if someone but, offered it to me, of course I'd take it. But $25 for this cigar, in our opinion, granted... A few cents per cigar goes to a, a good dollars, cause, a good cause, which is nice. Who's to say it actually does too? Yeah, well, well, and aside from the political aspect of it, I don't think the price justifies this. Mm-mm. Maybe if it were like a fourteen or fifteen dollar cigar, if it was like a seventeen buck stick, all right, I I would consider it maybe a little more. Yeah, I would even go lower than that. I'd say probably anywhere between twelve and fifteen dollars. Yeah. It's. The first, the first two thirds were very creamy, smooth, a unique blend of spices, nutty, nutty. chocolatey. Um, but this last third, there's almost no flavor yeah. whatsoever in either of our cigars. So, I would give it another try, but not for a while. Yeah, thank, uh, thank you, uh, Mimu or Mimu for uh, huh. which for... is an actual. I think it's Viet. Was your actual name? Viet um, Nguyen, I believe. Yeah, Michael is going to post it on the. I'm going to post it on the video yeah. at the beginning. You'll see it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, thank you for uh, telling us what we should try next, and uh, we appreciate it. It's not our personal favorite so far, so sorry if you're disappointed, but it w- it was definitely unique. To be fair, the band was nice. If that means anything to yeah, anyone, actually, the presentation was really nice. So. I did notice the band was put on a little sloppy, which, you know, it happens, especially for the shape it is. Yeah, it's a um, weird shape, the Figurato. Yeah, but I mean, it was good. I didn't have to relight it. It stayed pretty consistent up to the third third. Yeah. And, um, I don't know, I, I'd probably give it a six, six or a seven. Yeah, out of ten, I'd, I'd say probably five or six. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any other cigars that you'd like us to review... In the future, let us know. Drop it down in the comment section, or better yet, join our Discord. Or DM us on Instagram. Yep. Uh, make sure you join our Discord, because we're on there all the time. We'll talk to you guys no matter what it is, whether it's video games, cigars, anime, it doesn't matter. Make sure to follow the Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube. Yes. Hit that notification bell. Like, share it to your like-minded friends. Or even if they're a lot not like minded, just yeah. force the podcast just on them. Send it to everyone you know. Make a group company email. Just send it out and um, yeah. spread the word. Spread the love. Yeah, spread the love, man. Everyone wants to see our beautiful faces. You know, we should have smoked these for fucking Valentine's Day. Why? I don't know. Because pink and Valentine's Who Day. Who wants to be reminded of breast cancer on Valentine's I don't Day? Know. Plus, some of us lonely fucks just like to be alone and drink ourselves into depression. Sorry, right? you don't drink, so whatever. I know. So, Um, thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, like we said, make sure you do all the other stuff he's told you to, and take care and smoke on. Smoke on.